Have you ever wondered why Windows 11 is free? <laughs> Whoa, seriously? Like Microsoft is thinking about putting advertisement in their apps and not just any ordinary app, a very popular file explorer. Well, it was recently discovered that a new build of a Windows 11 file explorer, well the good old explorer.exe in the Windows 11 is serving ads and we have a tweet from Florin, I think he is some kind of a Microsoft insider and basically he gets the access uh, to get and try out the new features uh, before they get launched into the public. In this screenshot he gave us the screenshot of his file explorer and no wonder this file explorer has add right there onto the top right just below that a little bar. I use file explorer at least 50% of the times when I use windows 11 and seeing this ad onto the top corner uh, doesn't give me any confidence to store my files onto my windows 11 anymore. I mean now they have access to all of your files, they can access it and use it for gathering information about you and probably use those data to serve you better ads. But that's not good for me in any way, maybe better for their advertisers. Well just take a look at the advertisement. It says write with the confidence across documents emails in the web with advanced writing suggestions from Microsoft editor. So yeah obviously like this is really a crappy feature that Microsoft is trying to cram into Windows 11 but it is clear that nobody wants to see ads in their file explorer. Recently with the features they have launched into their Windows 11, I was surprised to see that Microsoft is even talking about putting ads into their operating system. If you remember the old Windows 10 start menu, well it has ads in it. I mean don't get me wrong but it's really easy you can just go right into the microsoft.com and get a copy of 10 or Windows 11 for free and of course you still have to purchase it if you want to do some things like change wallpaper or remove the activate windows watermark. But the OS is free. So it looks like over the past few years Microsoft has just switched to the advertisement for their profit model. Uh, you know instead of trying to get people to pay for its uh, operating system. Now taking a look at the file manager what it is advertising well it's a Microsoft editor which I actually think it's more like a writing assistant software basically Grammarly from Microsoft where you can correct your grammar spelling and whatnot. Now if you look closely this particular ad is showing up very close to his actual document folder. Looks like they are watching every little movement in their operating system and it's not open source ok so there is no way to really validate all this. But clearly Microsoft has power to see every single move that I make on my PC, what I download, modify and open up and that's pretty much all you need to gather lots of you know data from the user. They can know your routine, workflows, also your habits and that's really important for advertisers. Now what Microsoft says about all this? Well Microsoft's official position on this thing is it wasn't supposed to be launched into the public and this is something they are just testing internally. So what's the actual situation? Do you get to see the ads or not? So in order to test that, I fired it up for myself. I downloaded ISO from a sketchy website. Although the build number is correct, I can't uh, check the genuinity of this ISO. But looking into the file explorer, I don't see any sorts of ads over there. Now no doubt, file manager is one of the most fundamental feature that every operating system should have. To enhance the user experience of file manager, they should have integrated multi-tab file explorer from a decade, Linux and macOS do have these features from a long time ago and I think surely ads may not be the thing that will enhance the user experience. Also no pun intended but recently they have drag and drop the one of the most important feature that is drag and drop and after some time they have reintroduced it back into Windows 11. I can truly understand Microsoft is a really big trillion dollar company that produces uh, one of the greatest operating system in 2022. And adding ads in their file explorer may sound a childish decision but now since they have power of such a larger audience their goal should be on to enhancing user experience rather than all of this. So what do you think about all this do let me know in the comments down below. This is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.